Hey, hello there. So the second linked list question I'm looking at today is the uh, 82, remove duplicates from sorted list 2. So it's potentially a follow-up to 83, remove duplicates from sorted list. For that question, uh, we have a sorted linked list. So the notes value inside this linked list are in the ascending order, so it's keep going up. We want to delete all the duplicates such that uh, each element can only have one occurrence inside this linked list. So 112 will become 12. Uh, so that's uh, at least to keep one of the uh, nodes with the duplicated value inside of this uh, uh, new updated linked list. So for this follow-up question, uh, it's the same linked list that's in the sorted order. The nodes value are going up, uh, but the difference is that uh, whenever we find a node that can uh, a value that's have multiple nodes with the same value, we want to remove all of them entirely. So as an example, we have this linked list 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5. We want to remove uh, the two nodes with value 3 and also remove the two nodes with value 4. So the uh, linked list will become 1, 2, 5. So to solve this problem, uh, we're going to uh, solve this first in an iterative fashion and then uh, talk about the uh, recursive wrap. Uh, recursive one. So obviously when we want to do this uh, uh, processing this uh, to tackle this problem we want to do a linear scan of the linked list. So we're looking at the uh, nodes one, one at a time and uh, um, the, the logic is that uh, if we see that uh, the node has, uh, di uh, has the same value with the next node's value. That means that uh, we, from this node and on, we are entering the uh, duplicated subsequence, and we want to get out of that subsequence as, po as fast as possible. So here, uh, so it's it just that, uh, mm, so this case here, we have a traversal uh, nodes, the pointer uh, that, the, the traversal nodes value is uh, different uh, with the next nodes value. Uh, that means we can advance without any problem. So as a as as a, as a result, we uh, will be looking like uh, this. And then we find that uh, the node that we are looking at, the traversal nodes, has a value three, and our next node in the sequence also have a value of three. That means we enter the uh, we're entering the uh, duplicated subsequence. And we want to get out of as soon as possible. ASAP. So we want to achieve something like this. Um, so to move the traversal node to be the first node that's uh, not of the same duplicated value. Um, and after that, we want to do the uh, short. Uh, which just uh, have the previous nodes, instead of uh, pointing to the, uh, duplicated, the starting point of the duplicated section, we want to have it points to the first node that's outside that duplicated uh, uh, section. So that can potentially be pointing to a node that uh, has no duplicated value. That's not duplicated value. So uh, that's uh, this short here. So after this short, uh, we pretty much uh, exi uh, exited this uh, uh, the, you know subsection subsequence with the duplicate value no value three here. So that's uh, pretty much the approach. Just gonna advance the uh, traversal through this linked list, uh, but also keep track of the prior nodes. And uh, when we actually entering the duplicated a subsequence that's indica indicative uh, by that uh, now nodes value has the same value as the next nodes value uh, that, that's indicating that we're entering this uh, um, uh, you know the repeating section we want to get out of that as soon as possible and after we exiting that uh, we want to have this rewiring to short the uh, section here so that's uh, the pretty much the logic um, and uh, so the we, we need a prior state for this prior node, which can potentially just be a null pointer. So if we choose to do so, uh, we might likely to encounter the case there. Um, 
the very first node that we are looking at uh, can potentially just be the uh, duplicate starting starting node for a duplicated section. Uh, so after we do this uh, escaping, uh, we will be pointing at uh, the node two here. Uh, since that uh, the previous is actually uh, still a node pointer, we couldn't do this rewiring. So instead, uh, we actually just gonna do have the head node pointing to this uh, node two here because that can potentially be a head node for the deduplicated uh, linked list. So so just gonna be a little bit branching there. Uh, once we escaped the uh, duplicated section, we could either do the head node reassignment re, re, uh, or we can do this previous node uh, link short. So there are two options there for the iterative approach. So overall, it's going to be a linear pass from the head node towards the tail uh, to do whatever that it needs to do the deduplication. For the space, we got a couple of pointers. So that's a constant in space. So that's the uh, that's the summary about uh, this uh, um, iterative approach. Um, so just gonna code this up uh, fairly sh quickly. Uh, I, I want to also be able to look at those nodes there. Uh, so uh, we got a previous pointer, which is a no pointer in the in the in the, in the beginning. And uh, we have a traversal node that's uh, starting with the head node, our entry point to the linked list. Uh, what we want to do is to keep traversing. Uh, my camera is totally blocking me. So uh, the termination criteria is that uh, if I still have a next node that uh, I need to uh, at least take a look whether I have a duplication with it or not. And uh, it also indicates that I'm at the tail or not. Uh, if I have no nodes left, that means I uh, safely reach the end. If I have a next, I want to do at least do a, du a duplication check there. So that's the termination. I can just put the, the return head here. Uh, so just gonna follow the logic here. If uh, my value is not the same as my next, that means I can safely advance. Um, so that's uh, on the condition that uh, I do have a next, right? Uh, I don't need to check that. The while condition is, uh, is a guarantee that I do have a safe no uh, next node. So I don't want to advance both the previous pointer and also the traversal node pointer. Otherwise, uh, we pretty much officially entering the uh, territory of uh, duplication. We want to get out uh, as soon as possible. While we can still run to the next, and uh, uh, my next is uh, of the same value as myself. That means uh, I'm still not out of the water yet. So uh, if that's the case, I definitely want to uh, move further. So after this while loop, I will be the very last node in this uh, section subsequence of repetition. So I will need a, one final jump to get out of there. So after that, I will ask uh, the uh, prior, prior node to uh, reattach to me instead of the starting point of the uh, repetition. So that's the uh, code. Um, oh, sorry. Um, we, we need to look at uh, whether this previous uh, pointer is actually null or not. Otherwise, uh, all, all the, the stuff we do instead is to uh, reassign head to pointing at uh, this new node here, a new new potential starting point of this uh, deduplicated link list. Uh, so that's, uh, I think it's the code for this uh, iterative approach. Uh, let's see if it works. 
All right, um, just gonna quickly check. We have a node pointer to be the previous node. The traversal node, we're starting with the head node. We want to go as far as possible uh, towards the end. And uh, if we are not in the, if we are definitely not at the starting point of repetition subsequence, we want to keep moving forward. Otherwise, we entering the uh, subsequence that's a repetition uh, du duplicates. We want to move out of that. After we move out of that, uh, if my previous node is actually a valid node, I want to have it uh, pointing to me. Um, otherwise, I will uh, just tell the head node that, hey, I might be the uh, new head node for this deduplicated link list. So it looks reasonable, so let's try submit it. Okay, it's working. Um, then after this, I'm going to try to talk about uh, the recursive one. The recursive one, is n there's no benefits in terms of the time and space. It's going to be the same linear uh, time complexity, but uh, uh, the cost stack is going to be linear uh, because it has to go all the way back uh, and then backtracking. Uh, in, in. So it, it's not uh, space efficient. Uh, but uh, for whatever reason um, that uh, you might be asked it to do so, um, you've got to do what you you ask it to do, I guess. So let's just think about uh, what if uh, I myself, it's actually a, a node in here, uh, what I need to do. So obviously one thing, the thing I need to do is to check my next. Um, if my value is uh, not the same as my next, So uh, the thing that I want to do is to, uh, I want to um, ask my next to initial the SAM deduplication process for the subsequence that uh, starting from, from him, him or her. And after him or her has already done that, he will give me the head node for the deduplicated uh, uh, subse subsequence uh, uh, you know, linked list. And once I get that uh, pointer, I can point myself to, to that. So uh, I want to do this. Otherwise, uh, if my node value is uh, the same as my next uh, node value, uh, that means I'm pretty much the uh, in, in the midst of this uh, uh, subsection of repetition uh, what I want to do is to get out of that as soon as possible um, and once I'm out of the uh, section of uh, repetition, I want to return the function call on myself because I, I'm, you know, I'm an officially a new node, uh, a, a node with a new value, non-repeated non re uh, value, duplicated value, uh, potentially be. So I can return uh, f of myself now uh, uh, so that uh, the, the guy that caused me to do the same can potentially uh, link himself, uh, him or herself to the new starting point uh, for the uh, deduplicated link list. So that's the recursive relationship. The base case is that uh, um, if I am just a node by myself, uh, I want to return myself because I have nothing that downstream in the line that I can be duplicated off. So um, if node has no next, um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the reasoning. I uh, just uh, use this graph a little bit uh, uh, to illustrate this case. So if I am a node and I check my, uh, my next, uh, my next actually have the same value as me, so I want to move myself out of there and the starting the deduplication uh, from here and uh, return the head node of the deduplicate version. So in this case, uh, it will be repeating the second section again until I move myself to five. So after that, I will actually uh, say to node two, here is the, the head node of the subsequent link to links that, that uh, has no duplication. 
please connect yourself with uh, this uh, this here and then uh, that node will actually return himself to node one and node one will, will return it uh, in the uh, uh, as the final output so that's uh, the recursive uh, relationship uh, recursive uh, approach to solve this problem again uh, the space is not efficient as efficient as the uh, iterative approach and uh, um, I, I, I for somebody like me who is not used to thinking the recursive uh, relationship it's uh, easy to get it wrong so uh, just uh, gonna code this up uh, the first line is going to be the base case uh, if uh, uh, not not actually not base case but uh, um, yeah it's base case if um, if I'm not uh, an, a valid node, no pointer, this is actually a safeguard here. Uh, it's not uh, not a base case. Um, uh, otherwise, um, we need to check our relationship with the next node in the sequence. So that's based on if we do have a next. So uh, we're just going to code uh, the second branch here. If uh, my value is the same as my uh, the nodes that's coming coming after me then I want to move out of there as soon as possible. It's uh, similar to this while loop here. So while I still can move, and uh, my value is the same as my next value, uh, I, I, I want to go as far as possible. So after that, I will just uh, have my, uh, you know, I could do one more jump, final jump, and uh, then I I am a value with the first non-repetition value, so I can try to call this uh, deduplication on myself. Uh, otherwise, uh, it means that. Uh, um, it means that uh, my, uh, my my value is not the same as my next value. Uh, I, I would just ask my next to initiate uh, this deduplication for the node, for the subsequential linked list starting with uh, my next. And after that's done, uh, he will return me a, a new head node for the uh, you know, subsequent uh, deduplicated linked list. And I will be able to safely connect myself to that. So the thing I will do is to uh, have my, my next pointer points to the deduplicated version from my next and on. So that's uh, uh, pretty much uh, the recursive code. Um, let's see if it works. Cool. Uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, so it, we were linear time. Um, still one pass uh, but uh, the call stack can be linear time as well so the in the worst case it's just uh, um, uh, every node uh, is uh, pretty much uh, uh, distinct so you will just keep calling this uh, deduplicate on the next uh, on the next 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 until we turn uh, find the tail node you will return yourself and that node will return himself uh, to uh, you know, all the way back, and after that, uh, uh, we can return the head. So it's a uh, it's a little bit inefficient compared to the iterative approach, if you ask me. Uh, all right. So this is the uh, two approach, iterative and the recursive approach to question eighty two. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today.